Hey guys, so today I wanted to do like a holiday look for everyone. Uh, I wanna play with gold leaf. Uh, I got this, well, it's imitation gold leaf. I got this on Amazon, super cheap. And yeah, it's the 2.5 copper flakes. It makes a major impact. It's like so gorgeous. I've used it for so many creative looks and we're just gonna play with it. So I'm gonna start off by using something that is most definitely expired. Don't, I don't even know how old this is. It's the NYX Glitter Primer. Uh, highly recommend using something that isn't expired. It doesn't have a date on it, but like, I've had it for a really long time. Anyway, any kind of like glitter primer, something that's gonna really gonna hold on to the gold leaf is gonna be good because you want it to last. It doesn't smell bad, so I think we're okay. So I'm gonna focus this on my lid and just above my lid. So the difference between a regular eye primer and a glitter eye primer is that this is going to have a lot more stick to it. So you can kind of like see my eyelids. I mean, maybe you can see, I don't know. There's like definitely a bit more grip. I mean, I can feel it for sure. <laughs> I hope they still have this. If they don't, I'll link some other ones. Uh, next up, I think just like using clean fingers is totally fine. You can also use just like a brush, anything that will pick up the gold leaf. Uh, you can also use these like silicone applicators. These are really good. Gold leaf can be very messy. It's very lightweight. So just keep that in mind. So I just grabbed a little bit on the silicone applicator and I'm going to just pat this on my lid. And I'm just keeping my eyelids nice and flat so that, you know, I'm not messing with anything. So I'm just kind of searching around for pieces picking up pieces that are going to fit in certain areas, you know? You can definitely like pick these up with tweezers. Oh God, it's all coming flying out. So kind of just like filling in the gaps is what's time consuming about it. So I wanna like cover my lid essentially, kind of like in this shape. Ooh. And just using the silicone applicator to press that against the skin. Sometimes if you use your fingers and you'd go to like press against the gold leaf, it can like pick up the gold leaf. So you just wanna make sure that if you are using your fingers that they're nice and dry. For like smaller areas where I'm just trying to like fill in gaps, the cap just has like a lot in here. So I'm kind of just like using the silicone applicator to like peel up some smaller pieces. And the gold leaf is actually nice because glitter gets everywhere, but the gold leaf kind of just like stays in chunks, so it's just like a little less messy. And the shape doesn't need to be perfect because I am gonna go in with an eyeshadow to define around it. I just mostly wanna make sure that it's like in the place that I want and sticking well. Just like everything with makeup, getting it even is the hardest part. Okay, now that I have the gold leaf down, I'm gonna grab my Hindash palette. Uh, I'm gonna use, I think, this one. What the fuck is this called? I'm gonna use Real, the uh, gray shade. And I'm gonna pick that up with a detailed brush. This is Sigma Samantha Detail Shader Brush. I'm gonna use the edge of this to trace around that gold leaf. You can definitely do this first, but I actually like to use the gold leaf as more of a guide rather than trying to keep it inside the lines at first. So even though the gold leaf isn't perfect around the edges, we've created that shape, which kind of like just helps to define it a little bit more. So it looks more intentional and grounded. All right, guys, I'm gonna curl my lashes, apply some mascara like I normally would. And then I'm gonna go in with my Auric lashes. These are the half lashes in Viceroy. Uh, all right, as far as lower lash line, you can keep it naked. I was, at first I was thinking that I wanted to keep it like totally naked, but I actually, and, and this looks fine, like this is fine, but I actually think I wanna go like really dark and glam with it. So I'm gonna go in with this dual ended eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna use the matte black side in my waterline. Drag it onto the lower lash line a little bit. 
And then using a pencil brush, I'm gonna grab the black from the Hindash palette, Fatum, and buff that along that black, keeping it tight to the lower lash line. I'm gonna use that same brush, I just wiped it off and I'm gonna grab the gray shade and just buff underneath that a little bit. Connecting it up, always connecting. And then just add some mascara to the bottom lashes. All right guys, this is the finished look up close. It might seem kind of like strange, but it's surprisingly comfortable and lightweight. Uh, and I don't know, it's just kind of like a different thing to do other than glitter. I feel like glitter is like, We've done glitter, you know? Plus I just love this shape. I think it's super flattering and it's just like a little something to experiment with. I don't know. I like a slightly heavier lower lash line. I do kind of uh, wish that like maybe I'd gone with a black wing to do a little bit more balance, but whatever, I think it's cool. Uh, you can definitely go in with like a gold eyeshadow base first if you want, uh, but personally I just didn't really feel like I needed it, so. You know, sometimes when you go down or maybe use like a cream base and then go over it with the NYX glitter glue, I don't know. I think MAC has like a, a paint pot that's gold actually. So that would probably be good. I'll link that down below if you're interested. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a different option for holidays. Let me know if this is something that you would try or wear. I love gold leaf. It's so pretty. I've used this, <laughs> I've used this gold leaf um, to decorate like frames in my apartment. <laughs> it's just like dope. I don't know. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you eventually.